Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the new Chanel lip liners and um, limited edition Rouge Allure Camellia lipsticks that came out. That, those are the lipsticks that um, have that limited edition packaging. They're all new colors and they have the little Camellia on the top. So I just wanted to let you know I did not purchase every single item in the collection. I only purchased three things because they were the only three colors I thought were worth buying for my skin tone and what I what I usually gravitate to. So let's go ahead and start with the first uh, thing that I bought, which was the Rouge Allure Luminous Intense Lip Color and number three, th 327 Camellia Blanc. This is the packaging it comes in. It's a typical Chanel box but then here it has a little camellia flower I thought that was a nice touch and then here's the lipstick it comes in the classic Chanel packaging black all around with the gold accents here's the gold accent on the top with the camellia flower these lipsticks retail for $40 they are more expensive than their um, regular price lipsticks which are $38 and so here is the bullet you do have the Chanel embossed right at the bullet there and I'm currently wearing this color on my lips it gives like a milky washy effect it's very moisturizing it feels almost like a gloss that's exactly what it feels like. It's a nice sheen. What I like about this lipstick is that I can wear it alone or use it as a topper with the new lip liners that came out. And so the first lip liner I got one, wanted to show you is called 154 Peachy Nude. This is the box. And so then on the inside, if you guys are not aware, it does come with a Chanel eyeliner. I mean, not eyeliner, pencil sharpener. All of the lip liners come with a Chanel sharpener. I have accumulated quite a few of these. They're really good sharpeners. So I, I use them with other lip liners that are not Chanel and it works just fine. So it's a good little touch included with the lip liners. The lip, all of these lip liners have been reformulated and they are brand new colors. They are not the same as the other uh, lip liners. There was one lip liner which was, I think it was beige or something like that. There's a slight difference between the new one and the old one. I only had one lip liner from Chanel before you know the old with the old formula and I thought it was great but it was a little bit rough to apply and I find that with this new formula this new formula is much smoother to apply it glides on much nicer and I feel that the color application, like the pigmentation of the pencil is much more pigmented than the old formula and it applies much evenly on the lip, which is important for me because I usually have dry lips and when I wear a lip liner, if it's not well like pigmented, it'll pick up on you know, my dry patches on my lips, even though I wear lip balm and all that stuff. But what can I say? I just have dry lips. And so let me just show you, this comes with a little brush on the back end of the pencil. And this is so that you can diffuse the lip liner when you put it on. I usually never use these brushes because I'm never really interested in diffusing the color. It's not a look I gravitate towards and it's just an extra step I don't want to apply into my routine. But you have that. It's nice to have the option if ever you need it. What I do find 
you can use this for is if you don't have a lipstick uh, brush this is perfect for that and that's this is like a really handy tool you don't have to buy a lipstick brush you got one for free right here the first lip liner here is going to be peach nude and i'm going to show you also uh besides the swatch on my lips i want to show you the swatch on the back of my hand it's a beautiful nude and it does have that peachy undertone i'm going to see if i can make it a little bit darker it is very light and this is a color that's going to go with a lot of my Chanel lipsticks. So I'm really excited about this color. The next color I picked up is 156 Beige Neutral. I got these at Bloomingdale's. So if you guys want another retailer, another retailer that sells... Oh my gosh, I have an air in my chest. I'm sorry. Um, if you want another retailer that sells the new um collection of lip pencils and the limited edition lipsticks for chanel you can look up uh, bloomingdale's because i know that this lipstick has been in and out of stock on chanel.com and nordstrom and so i just wanted to give you guys another option in case they're still sold out at those retailers you can order this on bloomingdale's.com uh, that's what i did i had it shipped right to my house the next lip pencil is going to be beige neutral and this one is a bit more warm than peachy nude and i'm going to show you this swatch on the back of my hand so that you can see the comparison and i will this one is beige neutral and then you have peachy nude over here just want my camera to focus if it wants to there we go just one is slightly warmer than the other this lip pencil is so nice it glides on like butter I truly enjoy it I will, I think these retailed for $31. I have the receipt in here. Let's check. Let's check what they retailed for. I don't want to give you a miss. $31. Each lip pencil was $31 and the limited edition lipstick was $40. So in case you guys were wondering what the prices were, or what you wanted to purchase, these two were the only two I picked up out of the entire collection. They are really big lip liners. They're super, super tall and they last such a long time. You get 0 0.04 ounces in each pencil. So that's a lot of lip liner. Anyways, I hope that you enjoy this video. I hope you enjoy the swatches and see you next time. Bye.